It's actually a plus five out today, and I just wanted to take a break from doing fiberglass work. So what I wanted to do was actually tackle my mast wiring. I can't get my anchor light to work, and I can't get uh, my mid light to work. trip to Canadian Tire for a 3 16 uh, aluminum rivets. Third trip today. Ooh, just warming up, but uh, I'll show you what they look like. The finest uh, mass blocks inserted. So, there's the, uh, the main, and there is the jib, or the Genoa, whatever you want to call it. I want to take these through holes out. One on each side. I have to take the actual through hole out because uh, my depth and uh, new speed sensors are actually, they have their own through holes as part of the transducer. Um, I bought the Raymarine uh, sail kit that has the speed, wind, and depth all in one. So I'm just going to go and uh, get those prepared from the inside. I'm going to have to saw them out. Alright, so that's the view from the inside. Um, I just can't that, uh, whatever that glue is, it's that 3M 5200 uh, stuff like that is just, it's like, I cannot budge with all my might pulling on those bolts. 
Uh, I can't get them out. I can't even make them budge, let alone get them out. So I'm just going to grind right off. And then uh, I'm going to use, oops, forgot my safety glasses, and my earmuffs, and my ventilator. This is what I look like when I'm ready to go to action. So I'm just going to have to grind out this here. Hello. Okay, so according to the uh, instruction manuals from uh, Airmar, which are these transducers for the Raymarine products, um, they're saying that it should really be a flush mount um, or an inset flush mount. So in other words, it could be inset a little bit, but it has to be sitting flat. So right now it's beveled from the old transducer and the whole the transducer edging was bigger than what this one is. So there's, it's impossible for this to sit flat. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the um, I'm going to go and grind out um, like as if I had a hole that I wanted to repair. I'm going to seal it and then let it dry, uh, and then tomorrow I'll re-drill it so that it's a perfectly um, straight hole going into it instead of uh, this beveled. Because I think when I put it in, there'll be marine grease or the marine the 5200 from um, 3M. I just don't think it'll sit tight, so I might only have a very small surface area where it's not going to keep a. Um, a good connection so I think that's the way I'm going to do it I'm actually gonna I, I, I might even just leave it bubble out I was looking at other boats and many of them have them bubbled out a little bit uh, which means they were just flat so I think that's actually what I'm going to do and I have to do that with grinding out anyways for the other uh, the other holes that I filled already so uh, basically where the old sink was and then the engine intake and outtake I've already glassed on the inside but I didn't glass on the outside so basically I need to take like a three inch circle around and then do like six layers of fiberglass uh, to keep it flat uh, on, and, and then basically I'll go back afterwards sand it smooth put some fill and then I'll drill a hole I think is the way that I'm going to do this so it's going to take me a couple more days to do but I'll do this in pieces which makes sense according to the manufacturer so better to do it that way Essentially, what I want to do is I just I know that it will be I'm going to re-drill that, and then I'll be going into glass, not into um, a beveled edge. Help. And that's why I'm doing this. There we go. This one's worse actually, you can see right there. So essentially I just want this to be square. So I'm putting in more than I need here on the corner. All right, so I've got a 532, which is pretty damn close to four mil, from what I can tell. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me that. Same 
Well, you know what? It came out right on the edge of the crossbar. That's why it bent. It broke. <sighs> broke out a bit. So I'm going to go get a drill bit from the, or see if I can find a really thin punch with a long uh, snout, and then maybe that'll that'll work. So in the meantime, I'm gonna eat this up. Well, sorry for the really weird angle here. But my battery died on the other phone. This is the last piece, and I just want to get it done. Wrist is on fire. Of course, I can't find my long bit. There we go. That is not going to come out. Okay, so there's my finished product light and my wind sensor is now on i'm going to be in good shape for this season i think uh, just my last thing i'm going to do is just fill that in right here with a um, um i don't know like a rubber tape and then i think i'll just gonna put a, a piece of tape across the top here just so that water doesn't get into these two little holes uh even though they're stainless steel bolts but uh, i'm just going to do that just so that thing uh I don't have to drill them to get them out. I'll be able to get out the screw heads after. Cool. Signing off. Did you ever be both on the side? Yeah.